Hi everybody! Now I know some of you might not know me, um, but my name is Maddie Salinas and I'm from the Work of Art Studio Country Club. I know right now everything is really crazy and hectic and we're just trying to kind of keep ourselves busy, trying to get as much art out as we can and stay active. But um, today I would like to talk with you about a special type of art that usually gets glanced over. And that is writing. Now I know that when we think of the word art, usually we'll imagine a picture or a painting, something physical that we can see. But what we tend to forget is that words themselves can paint a picture just as well as any paintbrush can. For example, the Webster Dictionary um, describes the word art as the expression of human creativity and imagination, usually for beauty or for emotional power. Now simplified, that basically means anything that makes you feel strong, so like a happy emotion, a sadder emotion, anything that makes you feel something that you made yourself can be considered art. And honestly, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That being said, why do we usually not consider writing a part of art? And this answer, in my opinion, is pretty simple. It's because when we're looking at a painting or a drawing, when we're looking at something physical, we can see what we like and what we don't like. We can see the good parts of it and we can see the bad parts of it. But when it comes to writing, we have to really use our imagination and really read and look into the text rather than just look at a picture. It takes only a few seconds for us to form an opinion when it comes to a drawing or a, or a, just a painting. But when it comes to writing, you know, what's, what's good and what's bad, it's harder to, for us to define. We have to read and interpret what the author is saying. We have to consider symbolism and imagery. We have to consider, you know, the characters' backstories and their growth throughout the text. Honestly, when it comes to writing, it's, it's just a lot. Now, this doesn't mean that drawing or painting is easier or any less of an art style than writing. It's just simply that they're two different platforms. They're two different creatures and both of them have special needs and both of them should be taken care of in different ways. Now let's bring back the idea that writing is a part of art. I'd like to ask you a simple question. When was the last time you wrote? Now I'm not talking about for school or for your parents. When was the last time you wrote something for you? Something that made you feel happy or sad or just any type of emotion? Now the chances are that the answer to this is probably it's been a while or you know maybe some of you have never written for fun and guess what that's totally okay. The coolest part about writing is that it's a part of art which means it's open to anybody. You can write about anything you'd like. So, I'd like to end this video with a short exercise. I'm gonna give you a word, and all I ask is that you write for five minutes straight, and the only rule is that you need to use the word at least once. Now, I don't want you to worry. This isn't a graded exercise. Don't worry about what style you want to write in. Don't worry about if it's good or if it's bad. Don't worry about the time limit. I just want you to write and to let go. And I'm going to be doing this exercise with you too. So let's go ahead and let's take five minutes. Go ahead and pause and unpause the video when you're ready. Before I read my piece, I'd like to ask a few questions. How do you think it went? Take a moment to reflect on what you're feeling right now. Are you calm and at peace? Or maybe are you anxious with your heart racing? 
it's probably now that you're beginning to wonder, how did I do? And the answer to that does not lie in what you wrote or how you wrote it, but the words in front of you. Look at what you wrote. Look at the words. That's something that you did. Those words, despite anything anybody says, those words are yours. So now that you have a bit of writing down, can you call yourself a writer? And the answer is yes. Like we said before, art is open to anybody and writing is a part of art. It's something that you do have to practice and it's something that will take time and eventually you will learn how to use it in different ways. But those words are yours and nobody else can take those from you. That's what it means to be a writer. Now, if it's okay, I'd like to go ahead and read my piece. There's something so motivational about the way the flowers by my apartment grow in the cracks of the well-worn cement. How they rise from nothing, half doomed to be crushed by clumsy shoes or flattened by uncaring tires. Even the sun herself beats them down with unfaltering rays. Unwavering in heat as spring finally begins to unsheath her talons, as her swarm of birds pick at the earth like one picks at scabs. No matter though, the flowers remain still in their crevices, roots strong and unyielding. There's something so motivational about the way the flowers by my apartment grow. On good days, they remind me of myself. Well, author to be, it looks like that's all the time we have for now. You are well on your way to many more successful pieces, and I'm glad I got to be a single character in your ongoing story. I hope you'll join me next time as we continue to explore the art of writing. Until then, write on. <laughs>